Yo, what's up guys? Today we have a quest guide for you on the quest Hand in the Sand. Now, in the beginning, I forgot that you need a lantern lens. So make sure you guys get a lantern lens. You need 49 crafting and 17 thieving. You need a bucket full of sand, around 200 coins, 5 earth runes, a beer, 2 vials, leather gloves, as well as white berries and red berries. Remember, get a lantern lens. You guys need it. So don't go complaining. I didn't say it. You need a lantern lens. <laughs> if you guys want to get a free bucket of sand, just get a bucket and use the sand pile. I use it on the sand pile that's next to Bert where you start the quest. So let's start the quest by speaking to Bert. Say ew, a hand in the sand, blah blah. And keep talking to him. He'll give you a, uh, a hand eventually. Now I'll run south from Bert's house down to the bar. And you see that drunk guard captain right there? Click on him. Give him a beer. You'll automatically give him one. And then let him know about the hand. And he'll accidentally drop the hand in the beer. So you, just, you don't really click any options. You need to talk to him. From this point, head east and talk to the magic guild by ringing the bell. Or talk to the Zan... This is a guy. Talk to him. Say I have a rather sandy problem. Now you guys have to head back to Bert, talk to Bert, and you're asking about his job and he'll give you a sheet that shows you his hours that he works. You guys need to go to Brimhaven now, I'm going, or make sure you read the sheet first. I'm going to get to Brimhaven by teleporting to Artie, and then paying the fare to get to Brimhaven, then running south. Supporting, teleporting to Artie. I'm going to speed me up running where you need to go. Basically, from when teleport already, you need to run southeast, then run pay the fare with the captain, then head south into the middle of Brimhaven. <clears throat> go ahead around all this large, like, hotel like building. Head to the building to the south that has the sand thing on it. Once you're in here, search his desk to find an actual hour sheet of what Bert's supposed to work. So, there's that what he actually supposed to work, but he's now working overtime. Put on your leather gloves and pickpocket Sandy. You're going to get some sand from his pocket. Now you guys got to head back to Yanil. I'm just doing the Watchtower teleport, but you can get back anyway. You guys got to talk to Bert again. So once you talk to Bert, keep going. <clears throat> Let him know, and then you'll finish talking to him. At this point, head back to the Magic Guild. Once you get to the Magic Guild, ring the bell again. Talk to the Zavista guy, say you have a rather sandy problem, and go through this conversation with him. He'll give you a magical orb, which you'll need for later, for like a truth thing. Now you guys gotta head back to... Or you guys gotta head to Falador, make sure you have a lantern lens with you, and make sure you um, head over to Port Serum for this next part. Make sure you have a white berry, red berry, some vials, and that's basically what you need. Once you get to Port Serum, go to the shop with like the fire symbol and talk to Betty and her rune shop. Talk to her, you're gonna need to make a potion or a truth potion. Alright, now she's gonna give you that little vial thing with the potion in it. Use your red berries on it, and then use your white berries on it to get a pink dye. Use your pink dye on your lantern lens. Which will uh, make a rose tinted lens. Talk to Betty again. There we go. She's going to put a vial on the table. Stand here and use your vial, or I'm sorry, use your lens on the table while standing in the doorway. So just use your lens on the table and um, you auto you'll automatically get a truth serum. Now talk to Betty one more time. And you'll give her the sand that she will put into your serum. You now have an official truth serum. I'm going to head back up to Folly Bank. Um, from your bank, get some RD teleports and some Watchtower teleports if you can use them. 
Now head to Artie and head back to the Sandy building or the building that Sandy's in, the Sandy building. Once you're here, act or first talk to Sandy. Uh, you don't need to activate. I thought you had to activate the magical orb right away, but you actually don't. You simply just need to talk to Sandy. Uh, distract him by saying, I said there was a, um, a small parrot that was outside or whatever, and he's like, oh, I have to look at it. Then use the truth serum on this coffee mug. You basically just need to distract him somehow, and once he looks away, use your serum on the coffee mug. You'll see him drink it. Now activate your orb, and then talk to Sandy. Ask him all the questions. What happened to the wizard? And apparently Sandy killed him. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Alright, so you got all the information you need. Now head back to Yanil. I just simply did it by teleporting to the watchtower and then running to the shortcut. Ring the bell again at the Magic Guild to talk to Zavistic and say you have a rather sandy problem. And he'll need earth runes and a bucket of sand, which you have on you. Or hopefully have on you. Now a small cutscene will occur uh, that shows stuff. No, actually, it's just like a sand thing that's going on. Basically, Burst's like, yo, rise, sand, and the sand's just like, fuck yeah, I'll rise. And then this weird thing happens. Sand appears out of nowhere. Bert's got a boner. We're good. Alright, so the cutscene will finish and Zavistic will keep talking to you. There we go. Alright, so almost done with the quest. Uh, you guys now got you guys gotta lie. You gotta now head to Entrana, so get rid of all weapons and everything you have on you. You can take runes though. I'm teleporting to Fally and then running south to Port Serum. And once you get to Port Serum, you have to take the chip. Uh, you have to take the ship from the monks or the monks of Entrana. Take the ship to Entrana, and then once you get off the ship, run west. And look for a monk um, around the sand pit called Mazira. Starts with an M or whatever. Mizen? Mazion? Mazion? Talk to him and let him know about uh, his sand pit, and he'll give you a head that he found. Huh? Sweet stuff. And then teleport to. You know, and head back to the Magic Guild. Which is where Zavistic is. Ring the bell one last time. Talk to him, let him know that you found the head. And quest complete, guys. Alright, so decent amount of crafting XP. I think I got a level from this. Yes, I did. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, make sure to post below. Come on, friends, chat superhero. Peace.